Hi guys, Amir Pear from Yossam and Mac Coaching. So, something really exciting that we've got today for you is to understand personality behaviours and, and why people buy. Ultimately, there's four of them and a lot of people have ran these type of programs. It's called DISC, D-I-S-C, and they stand for different personality profiles. Now, the advantage of actually having a quick watch of this video is it's going to quickly identify how people are and how you can identify them. And then as we go through um, subsequent videos, you'll see how to handle those type of people and do your presentation against them. So how to handle and recognize a D-style personality? Okay, very, very simple. These guys are the easiest to work with, all right? The D-style personality, as we know, stands for dominant style of personality. These will try to dominate you. They will try to take control of a situation. These are the guys that will always tell you what they know before you have even decided to talk to them about what you've got, okay? They're dominant, they're direct, and they need responses now. So how do we identify them? in real simple steps, they're going to move fast, okay, so when they come to talk to you, they're going to be talking pretty quickly, they potentially could be gesturing as well, they're going to pull out their hands straight away, they're moving fast, talking fast, they are results orientated people and they're going to give you that indicator. So how do you, how do you identify these guys in five seconds? Simple, look at the way they move, see how fast I'm talking right now, D-style personality, alright, more movement, the more movement you see from them means that you've got to keep up pace with them. Okay? These guys don't like people being slow, they want bang, 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 alright? So that's how you can identify them very, very quickly. I-style people, you know what? I'm being an I-style person right now, I'm smiling, everything's big, you know what? I've got a miss, massive story, a massive amount of stories. I was driving along here and all of a sudden the car spun out of control, there was just a pile of pile of stuff everywhere because this fruit, tr fruit truck just jumped out of nowhere and now there's apples and peaches on the floor. See what I'm doing? Okay, like a D-style personality, you know, I-styles are very quick, interactive, and they're interactive, interpersonal style of personalities. They love a big story. So how do you identify them? Well, first of all, let them talk because they will tell you their I-style from the conversation. It will be, hey, how you going? Good, oh, well, let me tell you about me. They're going to do that. They're going to move fast, talk fast, walk fast but at the same time they're going to be more personal than a D-style personality. So a D-style personality may not tell you about your day, but an I-style will tell you about your day and then go on telling you about your day and it will be a beautiful imaginative story about how their day is. So that's how you can identify them really quick. Alright, Esther's, we're going to slow it right down, bit of Barry White music in the background. The S-style personality is very sensitive but also are very steady, okay? The way you identify the S-style people, they're normally a little bit slower. Remember, it's not slower in the head, just in their movement. So don't get them for being slow as in not intelligent. They are very intelligent, they're very astute. They're also very emotionally connected and understanding. So when they walk in, they'll walk in with a bit of control and a bit of reluct reluctance around themselves. So they, you know, they don't want to be pushed into anything. So with an S-style personality, you just got to watch their uh, movements and watch their conversation. It's a lot slower and it's more about you than it is about them. When you ask them, "How are you?", they'll go, "Yeah, I'm great. How are you?" Oh, right, you know, how's your day been? So that's how you know they're an S-style personality, that they are more interested in you than them being you interested about them, all right? So a couple of quick, easy ways to look out for an S-style personality. Watch their movements, watch how slower, slower they are in their talking. And we're not talking like slow, we're talking just, a, you know, more of a calculated pace compared to the Ds and the Is. Now, you see style personalities are not the rock and rollers of the world, right? But they're very conscientious and cautious. Again, they're going to be slower like your S-style personalities, but they're going to ask you direct questions like a D-style person, all right? What they're doing is they're analytical, they're analyzing everything. So when they walk in, they're going to scan the room. They're going to be looking around. Okay, what's going on here? Who's that? And that's how you know they potentially see. They, when they pick something up, they examine it. So if you're showing them something, they'll pick it up. And they might ask a really weird question around, who, who was the head designer on this? And it's like, 
well, that's a weird question to ask, but you know what, they're just interested in understanding a bit more. And sometimes it's not around what, what they want to do with their purchasing power around that. It's just that they're interested. They're very analytical. So the way you want to understand them and the way you want to recognize them is that they are going to be slower paced. Potentially they could be a little bit direct because of the analytical questions they're going to ask, but they're going to ask them in a slower way and this is what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. So you see that body movement? That's how you can pick them up pretty quickly that they're a C-style person.